Philip is in Redwood City with our next call. Yes, Hi, Philip. How you doing? How are you? I'm great. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, just had a question about uh, Wi-Fi range extenders. I'm actually calling for my girlfriend, her apartment. She's kind of got an in-law suite living situation. Um, doesn't have access to the router. It's in the house. So mm. the signal's kind of coming through the wall. Yeah. Um, drops all the time. Extremely weak. Um, so I didn't know if there was... a something that you could purchase i mean i know there is not without the co-op would you get the cooperation of her landlord i, I think absolutely yeah okay. they've been very helpful in everything else okay. i just wondered how that works yeah so uh it's very simple uh the best way to do this if you can is to find a router uh they call them wi-fi extenders for that particular mm -hmm. model in other words match the model of the access point oh okay gotcha. it's best if you do that and okay. then uh when you uh plug that extender in the problem is it's of course going to have the same range that she has so ideally you'd put it kind of midway between the in-law and the house obviously that's the backyard not going to work okay. um, well it's actually attached it's a, oh it's, it's attached. attached okay yeah get yes. the get the what you want to do ideally the repeater would be halfway right okay um okay. but you want what you want is the repeater to have a, a good strong signal and then from that point to her computer is a good strong signal uh, okay. And if you can do that, uh, and again, it's going to quite—it's always going to take the cooperation of the owner of the access point. You can't extend sure. somebody unless you have access to their sure. router. Sure. But once once you do that, um, most extenders—if it's the same brand—it should be pretty transparent. It'll say, "Ah, <laughs> would you like me to extend this network?" In many cases, and you say yes, and you're done. If it doesn't do that, what you're going to do is put that second device into bridge mode. That's the mode it's uh -huh. called, where it doesn't do any work. It just—it's just a repeater. Uh, okay. a radio repeater it takes the signal that it gets and sends it out and vice over and back again uh and, and by doing so boosts the signal to her that does make okay. a big difference you may not need it if you can get them to uh -huh. move the access point radio frequency rf is kind of a black art and you okay. know it's, it's unpredictable so it bounces off things it may be is it sure. if it's an older house that the walls present a real problem because uh, Wi-Fi doesn't go well through walls. Okay. One way you could improve it is by offering them, hey, I'd like to buy you a new Wi-Fi router. <laughs> okay. It may be they have an old one. The newer ones are very good. I just bought and highly recommend it. It's not cheap. It's over 200 bucks. The But, it'd be, but it might be a great solution for all. Uh, yeah. I just bought the Asus. ASUS makes excellent routers, and I just bought their AC3200. Okay. It is a three-band router, and this is one of the reasons it might work well for you. 2.4 gigahertz is the unlicensed spectrum that Wi-Fi began on. Okay. That's, that's the frequency Wi-Fi. It's not really a single frequency, but that's the frequency area that Wi-Fi works in. There's actually 11 discrete frequencies within that 2.4 gigahertz range. Then later versions of Wi-Fi supported higher frequencies at, in the 5 gigahertz range. Some routers will actually have two different 5 gigahertz bands. Now, 5 gigahertz is not as good as going through walls, but it's okay. faster, and it has some other advantages. If she has a newer computer and that router is a few years old, in fact, getting a newer router based on the 802.11ac uh -huh. standard, that's the newest standard, could actually do everything you want without an extender. Oh, okay. That might be good. Yeah, so, so a little homework. If her landlord will tell you what kind of router... You know, yeah. most people, I think, just use the router that the Internet service provider gave them. And yeah. those are almost old, always old and not, right. and not good. Right. Yeah. The, I think that's probably the case. Sure. Because they don't know. So they go, well, what you know. About, go ahead. Sorry. Well, I was just saying, what about the price difference? There seems to be a wide variety of price differences on these range extenders from like 20 bucks to over 100. Is there yeah. Some uh, Matt, again, Matt, see, if if they have, like, what do you know what the service is? Is it Verizon, Comcast, Cox? What is it? I'm pretty sure it's Comcast or Comcast. Xfinity. Yeah. Yeah, so Comcast will give you a Wi-Fi box. It's not so very good. Right, uh, the, yeah. It'd be almost better instead of trying an extension. How far away from uh, the uh, access point is she? Hey, you know, I'm not sure how the house is laid out. Okay. All I've ever seen is just yeah. the inside of her place. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, so putting the access point in a better place, if the walls have metal in them, that's what uh -huh. is the biggest uh, it, it, uh, de deterrent to Wi-Fi. It bounces off metal. It'll go through plaster, and it'll go through uh, drywall pretty much almost transparently. Okay. But if there's metal 
in the plaster, if there's metal in the wall, if it's an older house, for instance, a lot of times there's metal in there, um, yeah. that can cause Thank a problem. You. There's one other thing you can do. If she's okay. on their power mm -hmm. and they're all on the same junction box, they have one box that they're on, which is, sure. the, is single family homes generally the case, you can right. use power line adapters. Okay. What, now, you'll have to get in their house. You'll have to give them this and say, plug this in and plug the Comcast router into the back of it. And then uh -oh. she plugs in one on her end. And it can be a Wi-Fi access point uh, or it can be hardwired if she only has some one thing and hardwire is fine. Uh, I've been using those. They don't give you as much speed as if you were connected directly to the router with a wire, but they give you 19 or 20 megabits. They give you plenty of speed for, uh, sure. for that, for okay. surfing. So maybe that I'll, might maybe even, I'll go the new router thing. Maybe I'll offer that up. Yeah. Really so those are three choices. New router is probably easier than than getting a, a uh, especially if they're using the Xfinity box. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Maybe the Niners can turn the day around. Oh Lord, don't tell me. <laughs> I don't even want to. I I saw the score at the half, and I'm not even paying attention. Uh, uh, are you? Are you? Well, you're in Redwood City. Of course, you're in Redwood City. Yeah. I'm a transplant from I'm from Kentucky, but uh, yeah, I'm in Redwood City now. All right. Well, welcome. I hope, the, you, I hope the Thank I hope you, your Phil. team I hope your team wins, lady. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Take care, Philip. Thank you. All right, you too. Punchline to an old and bad and somewhat dirty joke. So I probably shouldn't have said that. Except if you recognized it, then you know the joke. So hope your team wins, lady. <laughs> Shared utilities for apartments that are illegal in many jurisdictions. So if she's paying her own electrical. Uh, that this won't work. But if she, if they pay the electrical, and a lot of times with in-laws, that's the case. Then power line, power line's awesome. I'm, I really was skeptical, and for years I was right to be skeptical. But the latest power line networking is pretty good. Not as fast as having an Ethernet wire, but pretty good. And you know, it's in their interest uh, if they want to continue to rent this in-law unit uh, to make sure that the internet's good. Isn't that after all? <laughs> like, <laughs> at least it, maybe it's just me. It seems like that's the number. Forget running water. You got to have hot and cold running internet.